Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and today we're taking a look at the Dometic Part-Timer RV Toilet with Hand Sprayer. So this is going to be kind of the good, better echelon of toilets from us here at eTrailer.com. If we look at this in comparison with some of its friends there, it's going to be all the way on the left, so it's a little bit of an outlier, but it's still going to give you a lot of the same features that you would have at home. And this is kind of the older style from Sealand, so you might have seen this elsewhere kind of tell from the back it has that closure around the base but the thing that I like about this it's gonna be that standard height that we're used to it is gonna be a little bit sh shorter or a little bit more compact as far as front to back measurements and it does still have the porcelain bowl so that's gonna be a better fit for or a better material to make sure that it doesn't stain it's gonna be easier to clean and also easier for things to slide down because it's a non-porous surface it's kind of slick so it helps things to move along down the road also that hand sprayer is gonna help with that so if we have any kind of uh, stubborn debris we can spray and target the area without having to just hold down on that pedal and waste water and also potentially fill our tank too quickly, our black water tank inside our RV. This can also be used on a boat, so it can be used for marine applications as well. If we take a look at the inside, again, you're just gonna press on that lever there to flush everything down. If we take a look at the operation of that as you press down it's going to open that valve up and let everything slide on down it's meant to be directly mounted above your tank so pretty easy as far as that install goes they do suggest that whenever you're using this that you leave a little bit of water in the bowl at all times that way it's going to help to seal that up and make sure that no odors escape into your rv or your vehicle um, so to do that, you just press down a little bit, just enough to let the water start going, but not enough to open that valve all the way. And whenever you do want to flush all the way, you'll just want to hold that for a second or two. You want to hold too long. Again, you don't want to waste water or overfill your tank. In addition to having that ceramic bowl, we'll also have a polypropylene base. So that's going to relieve a little bit of weight for this. This is one of the heavier ones that we have. Uh, it's about 40 pounds. Most of the rest of them are about 30. So that is something to keep in mind. Shouldn't have any effect on your rig. It's just a little bit of um, a heavier thing to actually muscle into your, um, into your bathroom area. So that's just something to keep in mind with that. And then as far as measurements go, can take a look at all those numbers. So the height going to this back portion here is going to be 19 and a half inches. Front to back is going to be about 20 and a quarter. The seat size front to back is going to be 15 and a half by 14. And then the cutout is going to be 11 by 8 inches. Our bowl depth is going to be 8 and a half inches. The length of that hose sprayer is 44 inches. And as I mentioned, that weight is going to be 41.6 pounds. All in all, I think this is going to be a great addition to your RV, a uh, nice replacement for a worn out system, something that's going to be maybe a little bit of an upgrade for you. Still has a lot of those same features. The lid is going to be, lid and seat are both going to be a wood material, so that's nice So it, since it's not going to have that temperature change. So in those winter months, you won't have to worry about freezing your butt off when you're using the toilet. It is made in the USA. It's available in white, and that's about all there is to it for our look at the Dometic Part-Timer RV Toilet. I hope I've answered all of your questions. Thanks for watching.